Hey guys, this is Chris from Mixdown.online. I hope you're doing good. Uh, today I want to talk to you about the dual compression trick on vocals. So basically we're talking about using two compressors on a lead vocal track. So this is actually something I uh, usually use on a pop or a rock mix. Um, so uh, I am first going to show you the trick using my go-to plugins and then I will show you the same thing we're using some uh, stock plugins out of Cubase. So even if you're using another DAW uh, like Pro Tools Logic, uh, just uh, you can do the same thing using stock plugins out of these DAWs. So uh, first, what I'm looking for uh, as a first compressor is something that is uh, quite fast, as a fast attack. So first, my goal is going to be to uh, to work on the vocal transients. Uh, so working on the peaks. So I am going to use my 1176, which has a very very fast attack. Uh, so this unit is known uh, to have a fast attack. So um, the attack time right here, if you go up to seven uh, on this unit, that means that you're uh, you're setting that up for the fastest attack. Uh, so uh, the fastest attack on the 1176 uh, is, uh, I think it goes down to 0 0.02 milliseconds. So that is quite fast. Um, and it goes up to 800 uh, microseconds, so 0.8 milliseconds. Uh, so this is uh, pretty fast. So we are going to use it um, the fastest, so at 0 0.02 milliseconds. And I am going to use a fast release time as well. So uh, in this case, uh, for the 1176, the uh, release time is set up at the fastest at 50 milliseconds. And it goes uh, up to 1.1 seconds, I believe, if I'm correct. Um, so uh, let's set that up for a fast release at 50 milliseconds. And I'm going to use a ratio of 8 to 1, so just to be a bit more aggressive. So I'm just working on the peaks. Uh, so let's listen to what we have with that 1176. It's my condition, my complication. There's something in me out of position. It's no intention. Condescension, I'm seeing clearly my imperfection. I see that I don't know why I. So there you go. So now we're just working on the peaks, on the transients. So uh, it goes on really fast and it goes off really fast. Uh, so, so that's our 1176. Now, um, for a second compressor, I am looking for something just to smooth everything up. Uh, so something with a slower attack. So I usually go with the LA2A again from UAD. So this unit has uh, some fixed settings, uh, meaning that the ratio is fixed to 4 to 1 when used in compress mode. If you're using the unit in a limit mode, um, now the ratio is set up to 10 to 1. Uh, so we're going to set that up to compress mode. So now the attack time on the LA2A is set up to 10 milliseconds. And uh, the release time now um, is set up to, I think it's fixed to 60 milliseconds for the first 50% of the release time. And the second 50% of the release time, uh, it goes from uh, 60 milliseconds up to 5 seconds uh, until full release. Uh, so, so that's for the LA2A. So now let's listen to this track in solo and uh, listen to what the LA2A adds to it. Really, my imperfection. I see that I don't know why I let myself go. Living so low, going out of my... All right, so that's good. So if we listen in context. Really, my imperfection. So if we go and listen to what we had before, compared to what we have right now, this is what we get. Seeing clearly my imperfection, I see that I don't know why I let myself go. Now with the compression. Seeing clearly my imperfection, I see that I don't know why I let my... 
So we have a way more stable vocal sound. So if we uh, listen to it in context with the music uh, before and after. And clearly, my imperfection. And with the compression. In clearly, my imperfection. I see that I don't know why I let myself go. Living. So now uh, let's try to do the same using stock plugins. Uh, so I'm going to mute this track, and I already made a copy of my vocal track. And uh, I first loaded the vintage compressor included in Cubase. Um, so it looks a bit like the 1176, but it doesn't act the same way. Uh, first of all, the attack time, the lowest attack time on the vintage compressor is 0.1 milliseconds, uh, opposed to uh, 0.02 milliseconds on the 1176. So let's set that up to uh, the fastest attack time, so at 0.1 milliseconds. And for the release time, uh, let's set that up to uh, 50 so it goes from 10 milliseconds to uh, to one second so if you want to actually if you want to set a, a specific uh, specific attack or release time uh, with that unit a cool thing is to just double click on uh, any knob and you'll just be able to manually enter the value uh, of the release or attack time you, you, you want to have. So in our case, uh, we just entered 50. And uh, again, a 8 to 1 ratio. And we're going to try just to control the uh, transients out of that vocal. So let's uh, have a listen and work that out. And clearly, my imperfection. I see that I don't know why I let myself go. Living so low, going... All right, so around 3 dB of uh, reduction is good. And uh, now for a slower compressor. So for that, we can actually just go and use the same vintage compressor or uh, we can just go and use the regular compressor from Cubase. So let's go with this one then and um, set that up to uh, to emulate the uh, LA-2A. So I uh, was saying that the LA-2A as a fixed ratio of, of uh, 4 to 1 so my ratio here is fixed to is set up to 4 to 1 uh, my attack time is at 10 milliseconds and i put in the release time at 60 milliseconds so now this this compressor doesn't react the same way as the la 2 a for the release time um so but 60 milliseconds is going to do the trick so let's work this out and clearly my imperfection i see that i don't know why i let myself go living so low going out of my mind okay so let's uh, listen to before and after and clearly my imperfection i see that i don't know why i let myself go living so low going out of my mind so it works well so if we listen to it in context with the music and clearly my imperfection So now let's compare the 1176 and LA-2A with the stock plugins. So first, let's listen to the UAD plugins. And clearly, my imperfection, I see that I don't know why I... All right, and then the stock plugins. And clearly, my imperfection, I see that I don't know why I let myself go live... Pretty close. The uh, I would say that the 1176 is a bit more smoother uh, than the uh, vintage compressor, but still, uh, still close enough. And you know, with in context, you probably probably not going to hear a lot of difference. So let's have a listen in context. And clearly, my imperfection. I see that I don't know why I let. All right, with the stuck plugins. And clearly, my Perfection. I see that I don't know why I let. Does the job. 
All right, guys, so this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below or you can get in touch with me at mixdown.online. So I'll see you next time.